It's, it's Mr. A here with another read-along workout. Today's book is called Belly the Crab, Finds the Way Out. Grab your exercise mat, join me for some exercise. On top of some rocks, alongside a pier, a crab named Mele climbed high without fear. She was so fast, Mele loved going high. She laughed at the other crabs as she passed them by. Alright, in page number one, we learned that Mele the crab likes to get as high as she can. So we're going to do some rocket shoots where we blast off to get as high as we can. You're going to squat down low, swing your hands up above your head like a pointed rock. Mele climbed on the other crabs to get ahead. She stepped on their bodies, she stepped on their heads. When a crab got in front of her, she pulled it back down. Get behind me, I'm first, she would shout with a frown. Though none of the other crabs liked her, Mele wouldn't stop. All that mattered to her was being first to the top. All right, in this page, we read that Mele the crab likes to stomp on and step on the other crabs. So we're gonna do 10 marching steps. Ready, set. Go, big knees, one, two, stop those crabs, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One day as Mele raced towards the sky, she saw something strange from the corner of her eye. She paused just a moment, then cried out with regret, when suddenly she was surrounded by a giant red net. Mele was trapped. She struggled to get free, but the net was too strong. She cried out, somebody help me. Oh no, we read that Mele the crab got stuck in the net. So we're gonna jump up and push our hands out and push our legs out and try to push that net off of us. All right, ready, squat down low and some star jumps. Ready, go. Mele was dumped into a pail on the shore with three other crabs and now there were four. The other crabs stared at her. They laughed with all their might. Mele went from the top to the bottom, they said. This serves her right. Mele didn't care. She said, just watch me climb. I can get to the top anywhere, anytime. Oh man, all those other crabs are rolling and laughing at Mele. So we're gonna sit on the ground and do some rock and roll. Ready, on your backs, grab your knees, rock and rolls, ready, go, one, two, use your abs, three, pull yourself up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But the other crabs grabbed a hold of her. They pulled her back down. Let me go, cried Mele as she fell to the ground. Mele the crab is trying to climb out of the pail, but the other crabs are pulling her back down. So we're gonna do some ladder steps. You're gonna reach up high and pull, and get your knees up as well. Ready, set, go, ladder steps. One, two, three, pull down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Mele tried again, but they clung to her leg. We're not letting you out, even if you beg. We're all trapped in here, and you're stuck with us too. If we can't get out, then neither will you. All right, the other crabs are grabbing onto Mele's leg, trying to pull her down. So we're gonna do some side leg pulls. Shake those crabs off. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, Five, and switch, one, two, three, four, five. Mele finally gave up and down came a tear. I'll never make it out, she sobbed with great fear. Oh, we just read that poor Mele the crab is crying. So we're gonna pat her on our shoulder to comfort her by doing some shoulder taps. So get in the push-up position and you're gonna tap your shoulder 10 times. Ready, go, one. 
And as Melly's heart quickly filled with dread, the words of her tutu popped in her head. Okay, we just read that poor Melly's heart is filled with dread. Oh, our hearts don't like to be sad. What our hearts like is to be working out and exercising. So let's get those hearts pumping with some jumping jacks. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Care for others first, and true joy you will find, said Tutu Papai, so wise and so kind. If you think only of yourself, you will be sad, but if you put others first, your heart will be glad. Somewhere along the way, Mele forgot. She forgot about the others and all Tutu had taught, and now Mele realized that Tutu's words were true. Letting others be first is what she must do. Mele needs to step back and put others first. You're going to step back with your legs as you lunge. Ready? Set? Go! Maybe I don't have to be the first and the best. Starting right now, I will help the rest. What can I do to make sure they get out? Oh, now I've got it, exclaimed Mele with a shout. Okay, our Mele is so happy. She's so excited because she knows what to do. We're going to jump up in the air like we're happy and we're going to click those heels together. All right, 10 heel clicks. Ready, set, go. One, two, click your heels together. Three, like you're happy. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more heel click, ten. Mele told the first papai to climb on her head. Use your legs and I'll help you, is what Mele said. Mele pushed with all her might and the first crab was free. Your turn, Mele said to the others. Let's get you out to the sea. All right, Mele's doing the right thing. She's pushing the other crabs up and out. So we're going to do some push-ups to help. Ready? Hands on our mat and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it was Mele's turn. She knew she couldn't fail. When at last she got out, she looked back at the pail. She knew she'd always remember her lesson that day. It took an old yellow bucket to show her the way. All right, Mele's free. So she turns back and she looks at the pail. We're gonna turn back with some helicopter jumps. So ready, you're gonna jump in the air and twist around. Ready, and go, jump and twist. Mele was so happy, and so were her friends. What a wonderful way for this story to end. For Mele had learned a good lesson that day. When you put others first, you live life the right way. If anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. Mark 9.35 Well, thanks for reading and working out with me today. I hope you guys learned a lesson about putting others first. Let's try to do that today. I'll see you guys next time.